Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn how to make documentary video. So let's go. This is three editing tricks to level up your documentary video. Number one is 3D scene. In documentary style, the parallax effect is very common because this enhances storytelling without the need for expensive equipment or reshoots. This effect is visual technique where background and foreground elements move at different speeds to create a sense of depth and 3D perspective. To do this, you need high quality images and separate each foreground and background in photo editing. You can use Photoshop to create and stimulate the environment by separating the image into multiple layers. Then export each layer as PNG file. Now import these images with the same layer position. To add 3D motion we will use keyframe. I'm gonna start from background. Set a keyframe on scale in the beginning. Move the market to the end. And scale up just a little bit. And it just automatically set another keyframe so that the camera is slowly zooming. Now repeat the same way with the foreground. The movement should be more dramatically by scale up even more because it's close to the camera position. To create smooth movement, right click your clip and show variable speed animation. Select one of these keyframes. I'm gonna set the quad ease so that the animation start and end smooth. Now do the same way for other elements. One of the biggest challenges when editing documentary video is finding the right soundtracks for your 3D animation. With this tool, it helps a lot because it saves my time to find the perfect music for my video. So this is Templar AI. So you get the access over 500,000 royalty free music library. Simply write this description of your ID, including the mood or music style you are looking for. Then click on search. Templar will find the perfect music for you and download which one you like. If you want to use this generated music legally or commercially on all platforms including YouTube and TikTok, you will need a license to cover those uses. So just click three point icon here on the right side and select get license and now you have a certificate. Now you just add the background music to your project. This is another scene with parallax effect. You can also create pan camera movement by set keyframes on position. Number two is add effects to still image. In many documentaries, especially historical or biographical, photos are the only available visual proof of the past. To make a still photo come to life, you can combine motion elements, effects and overlays on top of still image. Overlays like light flicks, film grain, smoke or snow can create a specific vibe, bringing still images to life or emotionally. Simply drag the overlays above your clip and change the blending mode depending on your asset file. In my case, it's screen to remove the black screen. Not only overlays, the background music can also make a still image more engaging. In Templar, you can generate music from what's happening in the image. Simply just click this icon and upload your image. And let's see how Templar recommends music for you.
By the way, it can also do the same thing for video. Just click on Rezona and upload your video. Click on Get Started. Templar will analyze the video content and generates music that matches mood and visuals. Now in CapCut, there is a lot of effects that you can apply to your still image as well. For example, I'm gonna add camera jitter effect to add a nice film look, which I think it's really cool for this photo. Number three is match cut. This technique is widely used in documentaries to keep the audience engaged and maintain storytelling rhythm to do this is very simple. I have 10 screenshots from the website and drag one to the timeline. Scale up, I'm gonna focus on Krakatoa. So let's place this in the middle. Now move five frames by click right arrow on your keyboard five times and import another screenshot. Let's match the position. And of course, we bring down the opacity to make it easier. Just scale and move and try to get the exact same position. Now repeat the same way for the next screenshot. Once you finish, select all the clips, right click and create compound clip. I will add zoom animation by set the keyframe. To make it more engaging, we go to video effects and select lens. Drag chrome blur to the timeline. I set blur to 11 and lateral chromatic aberration to 51 just to add nice focus on it. And I also add vignette effect to give more focus in the middle. By the way, you can also do the same thing to any object with the same editing technique. Now let's check this out. One of the most powerful volcanic eruptions in history happened here, Krakatoa. In 1883, it exploded with the force of 200 megatons of TNT. That's more than 10,000 atomic bombs. The sound was so loud, it was heard nearly 5,000 kilometers away, the loudest sound ever recorded. Ash darkened the skies across the globe, sunset turned blood red for months, and temperatures dropped. It even affected the global climate. Over 36,000 people lost their lives, mainly from massive tsunamis. But from the ashes, a new volcano was born, Anak Krakatau, or the child of Krakatoa, still active today. We have been talking about Templar, the soundtrack used on this project. All music from Templar, whether from the library or AI generated is copyright free. If you do upgrade to Pro or Ultra plan, you will have more access like to use the music commercially across multiple platforms. So that's three editing tricks to level up your document video. I hope you find this video useful in some way. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.